Okay, bleeding the uh, MG brakes uh, can be a pain in the butt, um, as evidenced by all the comments on mgexperience.com. Uh, there's a lot of people in there saying 20 different ways how to do it. Do the rears first, the furthest away first, do the front first. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, just follow the, the shop manual is, the, is probably the, the best answer. Um, so my shop manual says, and I have a single, a single cylinder. It's kind of hidden underneath all the rags here and everything. Um, but uh, a single cylinder uh, with a, a single servo unit uh, on my MGC. So what uh, I did was I bled the brakes according to the uh, manual. Um, the, the manual here actually says to do the furthest front first and then the closest front second so in my situation I have a right hand drive car the uh, brake um, master cylinder pumps out via one line into the servo the servo return one line into the splitter down here uh, right there that might be hard to see some light on it and then that uh, pressure sensor uh, also splits it two to the front so one goes to the one goes to the left front the other one goes to the right front and then one line goes to the rear and then splits off at the rear so the furthest away in the front for my car is the left front so you do the left front first and then the right front and then do the uh, the left rear would be the furthest away uh, in the rear and then the right rear okay and then once you do um, all that uh, I had done all that and uh, bled the brakes uh, according to the uh, manual and did it several times uh, make sure nice clean fluid was coming out all around and I still had a mushy pedal so I figured I had some air either in the master cylinder or in the servo unit somewhere that was trapped in there. Now my my uh, MG has one exit line out the top. I'll try to pull back some of this. There's one exit line right there that comes out the top. So I figured the air should be at the top and come out the line so it shouldn't get stuck in there but in order to not have to do a bench bleed I uh, tried to find some solutions on YouTube and this uh, came up so I figured I'd tr give it a try and it's basically a one line you connect one line to the closest wheel which is the right right front here in my case so I got one line going all the way down connected to the bleed screw and then up here it's submerged inside of the uh, the fill tank and so you basically pump the brakes it's a one-man job you pump the brakes and obviously the air in the line will come out and exit into the the fill tank and eventually you'll get fluid flowing and no air bubbles you got to keep the reservoir topped up as you do this because as this air is escaping from within the line it will uh, fill up with the fluid that's in the system and that uh, fluid um, uh, you have to uh, replace that fluid uh, by keeping the reservoir topped up so eventually you get to a point where only fluid is flowing and then if any other air bubbles come out after that point then those are air bubbles from the system that are purging themselves and in my case it it worked like a charm um, I felt the pedal was really mushy in the beginning as I as I uh, bled the brakes in this in this manner the uh, fluid started to fill up the cavity there was some air bubbles that would come out um, every now and then actually I heard some air escaping through I think something uh, in the servo it seemed like it was coming over in the servo I could hear like some air uh, escaping somewhere or being pushed through the system 
and I could hear air bubbles bubbling up inside the reservoir as well. And eventually, uh, the brake pedal got stiff again, just like it was uh, originally. And now, I have a nice stiff brake pedal. The fluid is obviously filling the complete line here, so I'm going to have to uh, dispose of that. And um, that is it. I mean, it's it worked. My brake pedal is now really stiff. Um, just like it uh, was before and I don't think I'll have any further problems.